What if I told you that a number you rarely think about, your diastolic blood pressure, could be silently starving your brain of oxygen? You've probably heard the mantra, lower blood pressure is always better. It's a common belief, echoed by doctors and health campaigns alike. But today, we're challenging that notion with a provocative question, could chasing a low blood pressure number actually be harming your brain? There's growing evidence, particularly for adults over 50, that low diastolic blood pressure may be linked to memory loss, brain fog, and even an increased risk of dementia. Welcome to Health Pulse Haven. I'm Dr. Brian, and in this deep dive episode, we're pulling back the curtain on the hidden connection between your lower blood pressure number and the long-term health of your brain. This isn't just another health scare, it's a wake-up call to pay attention to a vital sign that's often overlooked. So, grab a notebook, settle in, and let's explore why your diastolic blood pressure deserves more of your attention. Let's start with the basics. Your blood pressure reading consists of two numbers, measured in millimeters of mercury, MMHG. The top number, systolic, represents the pressure in your arteries when your heart contracts and pumps blood. The bottom number, diastolic, is the pressure when your heart is at rest between beats. Think of systolic as the surge and diastolic as the steady baseline that keeps blood flowing to your organs, even when your heart isn't actively pumping. For years, we've been laser-focused on systolic pressure, keeping it under 120 or 130 to prevent heart attacks and strokes. And that's important. But diastolic pressure? is like the quiet sibling that doesn't get enough attention. Yet, it's absolutely critical. Why? Because diastolic pressure ensures a continuous flow of oxygen-rich blood to your organs, especially your brain. During those moments of rest, when it's too low, that flow can become a trickle and your brain, the hungriest organ in your body, feels the pinch. Your brain is a metabolic powerhouse. It accounts for just 2% of your body weight but demands over 20% of your body's oxygen and glucose supply. Unlike other organs, your brain has no storage tank for energy, it relies on a constant, steady stream of blood to deliver nutrients and oxygen. Even a slight reduction in blood flow, known as cerebral hypoperfusion, can stress your neurons. Over time, this stress can manifest as subtle but troubling symptoms, difficulty focusing, forgetting names, or feeling mentally sluggish. Low diastolic blood pressure, typically below 60 millimeters of mercury, especially in older adults, can reduce the blood flow to your brain during its resting phase. This is particularly concerning during sleep when your heart rate and blood pressure naturally dip. If your diastolic pressure is already low, the brain may not get the oxygen it needs to repair, regenerate, and process memories. Over months or years, this chronic undersupply can contribute to cognitive decline, memory impairment, and even increase the risk of neurodegenerative diseases like dementia. Let's dive into the research because the numbers don't lie. A landmark study published in the journal Hypertension tracked over 6,000 adults for two decades. The findings were striking. Individuals with consistently low diastolic blood pressure below 60 millimeters of mercury had a significantly higher risk of cognitive decline compared to those with diastolic readings in the 70 to 80 range. This wasn't a one-off. A 2021 study in neurology zeroed in on the brain's hippocampus, a region critical for memory formation. Researchers found that low diastolic pressure was associated with reduced hippocampal volume, essentially shrinking the brain's memory center. A 2020 review in Nature Reviews Neurology tied it all together, warning that aggressively lowering blood pressure, particularly diastolic, in older adults could impair cerebral blood flow. This is especially true for those on multiple antihypertensive medications, which can sometimes push blood pressure too low. Another study from the Journal of the American Medical Association, JAMA, in 2022 highlighted that wide pulse pressure, where the gap between systolic and diastolic is large, like 140-55, may signal stiff arteries, further reducing blood flow to the brain. These studies paint a clear picture. Low diastolic pressure isn't just a number on a monitor. It's a potential red flag for your brain's long-term health. So, who needs to pay attention to this? Here are the groups most vulnerable to the effects of low diastolic blood pressure. 1. Older adults over 60, as we age, our arteries naturally stiffen, reducing their ability to cushion blood flow. This makes maintaining adequate diastolic pressure even more critical. 2. People on antihypertensive medications, if you're taking multiple drugs to lower blood pressure, you might be overtreated, pushing your diastolic too low. 3. 
Individuals with arterial stiffness, conditions like atherosclerosis or aging arteries can widen the gap between systolic and diastolic, compromising blood flow. 4. Those with diabetes or chronic inflammation, these conditions can damage blood vessels, making it harder for your body to maintain steady cerebral perfusion. 5. People with wide pulse pressure, if your systolic is high, say, 140, and your diastolic is low, say, 55, the large gap could indicate per vascular health, putting your brain at risk. Low diastolic pressure doesn't come with a neon sign. The symptoms are often subtle, creeping up so gradually you might dismiss them as just aging. But don't. Here's what to watch for. Lightheadedness when standing. This could signal orthostatic hypotension where blood pressure drops upon standing, starving the brain momentarily. Morning brain fog, struggling to think clearly after waking? Low diastolic pressure during sleep might be the culprit. Trouble concentrating, if you're finding it hard to focus on tasks that used to be easy, your brain might not be getting enough blood. Fatigue despite good sleep, feeling drained even after 8 hours? Low blood flow could be sapping your energy. New or worsening forgetfulness, forgetting appointments or names more than usual. It's worth checking your BP trends. Balance issues or clumsiness, unsteadiness or tripping more often could indicate reduced blood flow to brain regions controlling coordination. If any of these sound familiar, don't brush them off. If your diastolic pressure is regularly below 60 millimeters of mercury, hit that like button and share your story in the comments below. You're not alone and your experience could help others. And don't forget to subscribe because up next, we're diving into practical, science-backed strategies to protect your brain without sending your blood pressure into dangerous territory. So, what can you do if you suspect low diastolic pressure is affecting your brain health? Here are actionable steps to take control starting today. 1. Review your medications. Overtreatment with antihypertensive drugs is a common cause of low diastolic pressure. Schedule a visit with your doctor to review your meds and discuss your diastolic trends. Bring a log of your home blood pressure readings taken at different times of day for a clearer picture. 2. Stay hydrated. Dehydration can lower blood pressure, including diastolic. Aim for 8 to 10 cups of water daily, sip consistently rather than chugged all at once. Herbal teas or broths count, too. 3. Balance electrolytes. Sodium and potassium are critical for maintaining vascular tone. Add potassium-rich foods like bananas, avocados, and spinach to your diet. If your doctor approves, don't shy away from a pinch of high-quality salt, like Himalayan or sea salt, especially if you're not on a sodium-restricted diet. 4. Build arterial flexibility. Stiff arteries exacerbate low diastolic pressure. Incorporate omega-3 rich foods like salmon or walnuts, magnesium supplements with your doctor's okay, and daily movement like brisk walking or yoga to improve vessel elasticity. 5. Limit excessive diuretics. Diuretics, including caffeine and certain medications, can strip your body of fluid, lowering diastolic pressure. If you're a coffee lover, stick to 1 to 2 cups daily and balance with water. 6. Address sleep apnea. Poor sleep quality, especially from conditions like sleep apnea, reduces oxygen delivery to the brain and can worsen low blood pressure symptoms. If you snore or wake up gasping, talk to your doctor about a sleep study. 7. Try compression stockings. For those with orthostatic hypotension, medical-grade compression stockings can help maintain blood pressure by preventing blood from pooling in your legs. 8. Monitor at home. Invest in a reliable blood pressure monitor. Take readings at consistent times, morning, afternoon, and evening to track trends. Share these with your healthcare provider to guide treatment. 9. Prioritize brain-boosting habits. Exercise your brain with puzzles, reading, or learning a new skill. A mentally active brain is more resilient to reduced blood flow. Plus, stress management techniques like meditation can stabilize blood pressure. Let me share a story to bring this home. Maya, a 65-year-old retired teacher, was proud of her low blood pressure. She'd been on two antihypertensive medications for years and her readings were often 12055. But she started noticing troubling changes, constant fatigue, forgetting her students' names at reunions, and feeling foggy every morning. She chalked it up to aging until a routine checkup revealed her diastolic was consistently below 60. Her doctor adjusted her medications, reducing one drug and emphasizing hydration and electrolyte balance. Maya started drinking more water, added potassium-rich foods, and began walking 20 minutes daily. Within weeks, her diastolic stabilized around 70 and her energy and memory sharpened dramatically. She even started teaching part-time again, feeling like her old self.
Maya's story shows that small, targeted changes can make a big difference. Your blood pressure isn't just about avoiding a heart attack. It's about nourishing your brain for the long haul. Low diastolic pressure might not cause immediate alarm, but over time it could rob you of your mental clarity and independence. By monitoring your numbers, making lifestyle tweaks, and working with your doctor, you can protect your brain without risking dangerously high blood pressure. I'm Dr. Brian and this is Health Pulse Haven. If this episode hit home, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who needs to hear this, and drop your thoughts in the comments. Have you noticed brain fog or low diastolic readings? What's worked for you? Let's start a conversation. Subscribe for more evidence-based health insights and join us next time as we uncover another hidden factor affecting your well-being. Stay curious, stay proactive, and stay well. Until next time.